Good morning, Carnation Crafters, and a huge welcome to Carnation Crafts. We are live in the Carnation Crafts studio. It's very early in the morning, and we have been having all of the fun this morning with Miss Taz. She doesn't look happy about the early morning start. I woke up at six. I was up at four o'clock this morning. Well, it's not a competition, Carnation. <laughs> but I was still up before you were. <laughs> so we have got something really exciting, really exciting for Carnation, and it is... Uh, well, we've got a lot of exciting things today. So three brand new things and they all kind of combine. Now, the first thing that I'm going to talk to you about, which is really, really important, is the bundle, which has got all three. I'm going to mention them so I can give you the details for them and then we'll go through them. So the main bundle that we've got today, which you'll find on the website, which is 230134. This is a glass cutting mat and it's a beautiful A3 glass cutting mat. I'm going to show you it in full detail. It is also like a print your own tape kit. Now what that involves is a load of downloads that are essentially washi tapes. And then on top of that, there is also adhesive pro print, which might be the most exciting thing to hit the craft market in, in a long, long time. You already know the quality of Carnation's pro print. It's the best in the industry and it is now on self-adhesive sheets. Now I've always loved adhesive sheets. There's an awful lot that we can do with them. I like the fact that I can make the smaller stickers. You know how much I love Elevate. So this is just those flat stickers. But they've created these washi tapes for us, which are amazing. They're beautiful colors. We're gonna go through uh, some different demos for you this morning. That collection today, because they're doing a best price on it today, is $35.99 and it should be $53.96. Now you are going to pay $2.95 PMP, but what is exciting to know is that actually near enough you're going to get the pro print and the um, the washi tape stickers, the downloads for free because that's essentially the cost of the glass cutting mat. So they're doing a hell of a deal today because because it's launch day, which is exciting. So today's the day, today is the day. Now the glass cutting mat is super cute. It is 100% carnation, which I love. And I'm gonna show you it in detail on the overhead in a minute. There is a different bundle. So if you don't want the glass cutting mat, you can get the um, adhesive sheets and the downloads uh, as a separate little bundle, if you like. And that is 230135. That is 1169 today. 295 on your p and p so really really exciting because we've got all of these different things that we can now do with all the joy of carnation as we would expect um let's have a look we've got jane saying good morning i've tried ordering the bundle with the pro print and download at 12.99 it goes in my basket 12.99 but then subtotal totals at 17.99 before postage is added then goes up to 20.93 with postage just make sure you're using the actual numbers that you see on your screen. Uh, so 230135 for that bundle, um, and that is 1169. So it should go through with that. So 230135, instead of doing it as individual items, because if you put them in as individuals, they won't play nicely together at checkout. It does need to be on that number. So hopefully that resolves it. If not, Carnation will be watching and they will obviously uh, get on top of that for you as well. Morning Jacqueline, good morning Sue, good morning Karen, good morning Suzanne, good morning Karen, uh, good morning Mandy and Jane. Uh, hold on, Taz is shouting at me because of my hair being near my microphone. So what can we make with our washi tape and the um, the adhesive pro print? Adhesive pro print, like pro print, that's adhesive. I love it. Oh, Miss Tells has made it all fancy. It's in uh, carnation packaging as we would expect. So it's just here at this side and it, you get 20 sheets and they're A4, it's 120 GSM. So it prints like we would expect with pro prints. You're getting that vibrancy of color. The ink's not going to saturate into the paper because the chalk content is low. So all the quality we do expect, and then you get those gorgeous downloads to go with it. Now, obviously the downloads that we've got for the tapes is just one element that you can use. Every single die you've got with Carnation, you can also cut from washi tape. They don't have to be the original artwork. We can make some more modern designs. You'll see that as we go through the demos this morning. 
but the point being is they've given us those to have a go with and they are absolutely gorgeous. I have been decorating all over my house with washi tape um, from this collection. I've got an obsession with washi tape, have had for a long time. I love the stuff. Um, and I've got a laundry room, a little laundry room, and it's got two shelves on it. And on those shelves, I've got wee plastic boxes, you know, the A4 plastic boxes with soaps and stuff like that in it. And I've put washi tape along all of them. They look super pretty and very pretty. And then I was doing little tins with the washi tapes from this collection as well, which are super sweet, uh, just to put all my bits and bats in. So these are all my palette knives, just so that I've got them all together just really gorgeous because there's almost that kind of shabby chic design about them. Uh, good morning, Ruth. Good morning, Jan. Good morning, Soph. How are you all doing? So the glass cutting board, let's have a look at it. So if we can go to the overhead and I'll pull it over here so you can see it. We have got the Carnation Crafts area here. Obviously, this is where you would do your spritz in. It's where you would do your inking or your different pieces. We've got all our angles here for anything that you need to do angular work for. Your basic card size here, if you were doing an A5 card, so you've got all your folds, all your measurements in inches all around. Then we've got centimeters at the bottom. What's really exciting is this panel here. Not least because it's got the carnation mice on it. Look, the crafty little things mice. It's so cute. But what it has got on here, which is important, <laughs> it says if your card is going to be four and five eighths of an inch by six and a quarter of an inch, you're going to need to cut your paper size at nine and a quarter by six and a quarter everything laid out for us and then obviously we can measure on here. So everything is laid out right up to your eight by eights and then that goes in centimeters as well. So we get both of those instructions for us all laid out. Inches on that side, centimeters on this. It's so blooming awesome and it's pink and it's beautiful and it's everything that we would expect from Carnation. So that is just a boon to have. I love it. I think it's a massive part of my carnation station. Look at how beautifully my little mat sits with my little ball tools sitting on top, everything working together, then blending in with these. Look, it's my full carnation station. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, what's really, really awesome about this is for today only, and I don't know when they will next bring a price down on this. So uh, I don't get that information. All I can tell you is that today, uh, it's on a majorly special price because you're getting the adhesive pro print and you're getting those downloads for the washi tapes pretty much free, pretty much. So it is 230134. That is, uh, a, a, Taz was just putting a message up, but I didn't look. Is that what it is today? Oh, it's the deal of the day. So it stops at midnight. There, there you go. So 35.99, it should be 53.96. How much saving is that? It's a lot. It's a lot. And then you've got 295 P and P. Get your maths done, Miss Tiz Taz. Um, Jane says, sorry, Carla, just tried that number, but still doing the same for me. Doing the same. They're fixing the issue now. They're fixing the issue now, Mr. Mark says. Thank you, Mr. Mark. Uh, they're just getting it resolved. So hold your horses. I'm going to show you some finished samples while you're all waiting, and then we will get it through. You're going to save today. 17 pounds and 97 pence which is a huge whack in saving but it will stop at midnight and how much was the adhesive and the pro print together 17.97 and how much are you saving 17.97 so it's completely free your adhesive and your downloads are completely free oh that's exciting and and this is just lovely isn't it and it's your tempered glass it's a3 in size i love my a3 glass cutting mats um, they're just useful and I use them all the time and I love a glass cutting mat. I'm more inclined for these than a self healer. I always have been. I like cutting on them. They're just epic. Right. Let's have a look at some of these finished samples because they're super cute. I think these are all from Janine. I have to say, <laughs> look, so we've got that washi at the back. Now I'm going to flick through the washi in a minute so you can see it, but I want to give you some inspiration because I think this is just beautiful. Look at those colors, vibrancy. For something more stripped back, something more, um, I suppose, slightly modern. All carnation dyes. So we've got those crystalline edges. You've got all the hearts sitting there, the, the uh, sentiments that we know and love from the stamps. Really beautiful, right? 
absolutely gorgeous and that I think is just extraordinary with that beautiful rose sitting on top just done with some pin flare so easy so simple these washi tapes are just incredible going from that we've had them made into ticker tape so that we can make these beautiful banners beautiful right really simple as well like we're just talking a simple little cutout at the bottom really really easy it's important to note that these are done on pro print adhesive as opposed to just double-sided adhesive paper this is pro print adhesive so it's printable and that means we can get that vibrancy you would never normally get that color specifically you'd never get that from a printer and if you try it on normal color, it will be a, almost a faded pink. You won't get that vibrancy. And so obviously that then fits in with the perfect paper that has been used on the outside of it. So these colors will match with your perfect papers from different collections. Using it going in different directions. How pretty is that? It's like a patchwork quilt, isn't it? There's something very, very country, shabby chic, beautiful about it. It's really, really pretty. I love this idea. There's something about it for me because I, I love washi tape and I like the control that you get with it. I like the different designs that we can do and that is spectacular. Look how well it goes with the mat. <laughs> just saying, I'm just saying. If you want something that's slightly more pastel, slightly more muted, pretty, pretty, pretty. You are wonderful. And to all of you at home, yes, you are wonderful. So you've got those daisies sitting, and to you, Miss Taz, yes, and you are wonderful too. You've got this washi print. And now these have been done, if I can feel it separately, they have been cut into strips and done. And there's different ways of doing that. The next one, I think, is ace. So the ones you've seen so far pretty much have all been done in strips. This one, I love what Janine has done this. It should be that way. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So some of these have been cut out. So some of these are apertures with washi behind and some of the uh, are separate there, ephemera pieces that are stuck on top. So you've got both playing. You've got that dimension and that beautiful kind of padding up and down. It's really, really pretty. Really sweet how it comes together. What you'll notice in some of these are some little characters from Carnation. So you've got the wee bunny, the little squirrel. There he is. There he is. So you'll see how some of those designs from Carnation are coming through in these tapes. The final one that I'll show you of Janine's, and thank you Janine for your work. Look at that. Absolutely spectacular, right? <coughs> so what we get to do is strip everything right back. We pair it right back because those colors are vibrant and they're very bright and you're getting a stream of color. And so you can use that white on white. You can use that really effectively on this because we're popping it with color. And then you just add one simple piece of ephemera from the Carnation Collection from a die and man alive does it come to life. So let's have a look at the actual downloads. What do you get? And then we'll play. Just let me do that and try and not fall off my chair. So we've got these, how pretty. Now obviously our options here are to cut them in strips and use them as we would use a washi tape. That's just one option. The back peels off really simply and you've got your different designs going through. So what you can see here, I've got really thick strips and really thin strips, we've got both. Now that means we can either do different designs or effectively we can play with um so i could cut out a square from this and it would just be a square obviously because i've not cut it into strips or i could cut something out and then i could start pairing in the big pieces with the small pieces and it just works so blooming well it's ridiculous really pretty really pretty colors so we're going through all the different sort of look you can see as we're going into the blues isn't that gorgeous different colors to play with there's the big ones Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. See, there's your little characters. There he is. He's my favourite. I love him. Aren't they pretty? I love that. That whole colour palette really pleases me. Think of where we can go with these. Think of what we can do. Think of how we can change things up. Pretty, pretty as a picture. That's really dramatic. It reminds me of some very, very beautiful wallpaper. All those gorgeous colors coming through. 
ale. I think I missed one. So it's, you can see it's the big and the little. This is what you're getting. These are your downloads. So I want to make sure you've seen them all. Um, look at that. Pretty, pretty. I mean, this is, I mean, washi tape is not cheap, guys. You know, we know this, right? And then you get to print your own. Do as many as you want. As often as you want. I love them. I love, love, love. And when you see them together, really pretty. Ooh, that's my favorite one, because I love bright colors. I'll demo that one first, I think. Isn't that gorgeous? That's just so pretty, isn't it? Your purples and your blues. Really, really sweet. It's and, and like I say, when you start doing things like the wee tin here where you've just got it sitting, it's just so pretty. And that's just a tomato soup can, you know, washed out and then just put some washi around. And then I've got some storage for my palette knives for when I'm painting. It's super easy to do. Obviously, you all know how to do that. It's just a case of putting it round and it sticks. But it means I've got all of these options for home decor projects, which I love um, because as much as I love card making and I do very much love card making, I like to explore other avenues with crafts too. Um, and it gives me a chance to have a play with that. So for all of you that want to have a go with this and want to get the glass cut in, I think probably, you know, that's going to be your biggest um, saving today is you, because you're getting everything else for free. So what you're going to get is that, that, all of that you won't get that physically by the way you'll have to download it obviously but with the mat and you're going to get all of that for 35.99 that's all going to be on the number 230134 so i'm curious as to whether the team have sorted that out but i'm sure they will very soon hopefully that's been resolved but it means that you can go on and get that what a bargain but it is only available till midnight tonight after that it goes to its normal price which is going to be 53.96 for the three together so it is just a special day thing, uh, mainly because you're getting that and that for free. So it makes sense that they can only do it for a day. But massive thank you to Carnation for giving it as it for a day because it's an absolute bargain. Right, let's make a card. Now, what I'm going to say to you before we do that, just a little bit of housekeeping. We've got two shows today. We've got this one now and then we've got another one at 11. Miss Tistas? So we've got another one at 11 o'clock. In the 11 o'clock show, there has been loads of requests uh, in the group actually over a period of time but certainly recently loads of requests in the group to have um, some kind of demonstration on how to make an envelope for the different size cards that we've got so I'm going to devote some time and I've had permission from Carnation to do that in the next show on how to make an envelope for any size card so I'm going to do that in the second show not the first show but I will do it and I'll go through the whole thing for you and so at the end of it, no matter what size your card is, you'll be able to make an envelope for it. So I hope that helps. Um, and we'll do that later on. But for the meantime, we're just going to play with these washes so you can see different ways of playing with them. So these demonstrations will be relatively quick. Um, but man, this is pretty. Let me just, I've got these sticky bags that close and I can't get into them. Here we go. So... Loads of different ways of playing with washi tape. Loads of different ways of bringing it to life and having uh, fun with it, but also with using other aspects from your carnation collections as well, your other collections, uh, and all your different pieces. Any stamps that you've got. Oh, Ruth says it's not sorted yet. I think they're on with it. Jacqueline says I've never used washi tape. So very interested in this one. Washi tape, I've been using washi tape for years. Actually, it is there. So... One of the things, I don't think it's at the other side and I don't think you'll be able to see it, but I have got so much, and I have got so much washi tape. I've got a massive jar of it in here that I didn't even know I was missing because I own that much of it. I've got an obsession with it. I love washi tape. There you go. Um, I just collect washi tape and have done for years. So this was such a great thing for me. Washi tape is one of those things where you can literally change home decor, um, I have in the past uh, decorated a full washing machine that looked a bit old and tatty. So I washi taped the whole thing. Um, there's loads of ways of playing with washi tape. Um, 
you're all still saying about the website Eileen. They're just working on at the minute Eileen and as soon as they have got it sorted, we will tell you. Um, says, hi all, the price has now dropped to 39.99, but the 10% code not working to drop to 35.99. Please help, I'm bursting with excitement to place my order. Well, I imagine what they probably had to do is reset everything. So they'll be going back through to drop the price and to allow the code. So if we, they can just bear with us just for a couple of minutes. So all right guys, if you can just give us a couple more minutes. As soon as, as, soon as Taz knows, Carnation will let Taz know. Um, and then as soon as she knows, she'll tell us and I'll get you all sorted. But let's start having a little look at a demo and um, of just some of the stuff that I came up with. Do you know what's really weird is, um, I'm sure none of you are really interested in this. I'll have a slip of coffee while I'm here. Uh, the really weird thing about it was, I wasn't given any specific dies to play with. Here's some washi tape, play. And I was like, ah, who? who, what could that mean? What could I do? Because suddenly I had every single collection from Carnation ever that I was allowed to play with. And that was so strange to me because it's the first time that that has been a case for demo. Obviously when I'm making my own cards, that's something I can do as I choose. But demo wise, I always have a set formula. I was allowed to choose what perfect papers to play with. I could choose which dies. It was such a liberating experience to do the demos for this. I had the best time. So I've chosen a really hot pink um, backing paper, perfect paper, my brain went funny then. And uh, I'm using that to, to sit on here. Now I can't remember, I'm gonna be really honest with you and Carnation, I apologize to you in advance. I use so many bits from so many different collections, both with perfect papers and with dies, and I haven't got a clue where I went with it because I was doing the things. I apologize, I got very excited. But those at home can play a guessing game and guess which bits I've used from where. So I'm just gonna place, push and pull. Uh, Suzanne, I've already paid for mine at 39.99, already gone through. Uh, Suzanne, contact Carnation and they will help you out, I believe. Uh, just give them a holler, give them a holler. Right, what I did with the washi on this is just get out a panel. Simple as that, nothing, nothing more extravagant than that. But because I've been using my uh, little scallop edge here, what I've done is then taken this one and cut out the little heart from it, okay? It wasn't the scallop edge, it was one with a heart on it. Anyway, I've cut the little heart and I'm gonna sit it on top. So all I need to do is make sure I place my washi in a place where that, that's gonna sit on top peacefully without getting into the way. So what I can do is one of two things here. So it's about playing obviously with dimension and texture and how I want that to be. Do I want to have that place down and have this placed on foam tape so it's raised and I've got the aperture? Or do I want to raise both of those and just have that as a raised piece? It's up to me, I can play as I choose and I love that. This adhesive just, now you all will have some form of nails at home. I have less than I should, hold on. It just peels, let's have a go, there we go and it comes straight off, okay? So what I'm gonna do is try and make sure I've got that relatively straight, make sure I've got it in the right place and make sure I've got it the right way around. So I'm just going to place in the center and pop it down. Now, because I've taken the trouble to cut that heart, look at that, look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Really, there's something about it. There's something about it. But I do quite like the idea of having that raised and having that little aperture. I think it's got that hidey hole feel to it, that little sort of sweet secret that happens behind the scenes, which I like very, very much. So I'm going to just chuck a bit of foam tape on here. Place it down. Snip it around. and just push. So I've got my aperture now raised. What I'll do is just put a little supporting piece here and here so that heart doesn't sink. Not that it's, I'm not putting much on, but just so that it doesn't smoosh down. 
a little bit just underneath, not too much. I don't want it poking through and I'm not bothered about taking the backing off those two pieces because it's just support. Um, I don't think that's going to stick, Miss Tuss. There it is. Right. It's all completely fixed now. Apparently it's all completely fixed. Go, go, go. Um, Sue says, this washi is going to be so good for those last minute cards. You get asked for little effort and maximum results. Not the demos involve little effort. No, Sue, you're absolutely right. Uh, it, it's a case of, listen, if you can create an aperture of a heart, chuck some washi behind it, you're good to go. What's interesting, and my advice to you all, take it or leave it, but what is helpful, when you get off these shows and you're sat, have a think about pieces of ephemera. So this is what I did yesterday. This is the process that I went through yesterday. I'll be quick. I sat and I thought, what would I like to cut out of washi tape if I was gonna cut bits out? And I thought, well, I'd love to cut some butterflies out of it. That would be really pretty. And I would love to cut some birds out of it. Bits and bats, you know. And so I went onto the Carnation Crafts website and I just used the search box and I just typed in butterfly and I typed in bird and I typed in, you know, various different things. And then I wrote down which collection they came from because what happens is where I put butterfly, it comes up with a list of things that are butterflies. And then I would click onto one and on the second tab, it says additional information. And if you go into the additional information piece, it tells you which collection that die set came from. So I was able to then transfer back, go, okay, that's from that collection, which is why I can't remember what I've used because I was just pulling out from different die collections so that I could put pieces together. What an amazing experience to just sit there and go, I want some butterflies, I want some birds, you know, instead of I want to use something from that collection, but just the freedom. I loved it. And that's what I did. So I hope that helps you guys a little bit. What I've done is then cut a second little tiny strip. And obviously I have popped this here so that it matches, okay? So I've got that really sweet pull of color at the top. And isn't that cute? It's really, really bright. But I didn't want it to just be quite so plain. So I've taken some of the feathers here from Boho because the colors are so perfect with this collection. So I've got some of those Boho colors. I'm just going to use a bit of my everyday on this. Chuck a bit down. Do you know why I think Mark's done the glass cutting mats? Do you know why I think he's done it? It's because it means I can clean it <laughs> better than the silicon one. So I think he'll just feel like she's got no excuse now. She has to clean that mat. So I'm just gonna put this onto there tiny little bits of glue, not much. And I'm just going to feed those two one over the other, larger one at the top, smaller one at the bottom. Same again on the other side, turning them obviously. So I've got my bigger one here, my smaller one, and I just sort of piece them through so they sit. Little bit of glue, not much. Push together. And then I want them to meet in the center of that heart. Now I can just use the foam tape from this piece where I've got it to raise, but I think I'd rather get them settled first, know that I like where I've placed them and make sure I'm happy with it. Isn't that so pretty? Those I love the colors from Boho and I love the feathers and, and the little leaves from Boho too. There's something about them. So I'm just going to, I think a little bit about there because I like the gap between the heart and the feathers. And then I am going to use this one. A little bit more. Place through that gorgeous spray of color. Isn't it pretty? And we always use the same hues with carnation so it's all gonna work and it's all gonna go together. Make sure that's lined up with that bottom piece. Place on, really beautiful, really easy. Now that could just as easily be a sentiment. I could pop some little diamond uh, dots on there if I wanted. Um, I think you guys know that I like the very sort of paired back stuff. I love white on white and I love a pop of color. So this to me is just about 
kind of perfection, but we all have different tastes and different styles. And the joy of washi tape is I could do so much more with that if I wanted to. I could start putting strips down the side of my cards. I could do a little messy piece just in the middle. And the joy of washi tape is if I took a piece of, I haven't got a plain piece of card, if I took a plain piece of card, say this was just, say this was this, and I took that and I took, I don't think I've got any of the thinner pieces cut right now, but just say, for example, I could put one piece here. Obviously they would be cut to length. Put another piece there. Chuck another bit on. And it's quite haphazard. That's the joy of washi is you don't need to be neat with it. Now they would obviously be cut to size, but what you get is this kind of little messy display inside. And then to just put a sentiment on that, honestly, for those really quick cards, that can be super effective with washi tape. There's a lot of different ways of being able to play in that way. The fact that we can just kind of build with nothing very quickly. And because we've got such gorgeous pieces from Carnation, one or two key aspects from the different collections will literally see you through. And so we get something that's absolutely gorgeous in design, very, very colorful, very simple. That's a two minute card. Cut your aperture, chuck a bit of washi, ta uh, washi tape down, you're done. It's a two minute job, but it's a really effective way of making something quick and simple, bright and colorful and happy and cheerful. And anybody would love to get a card like that. It's a gorgeous handmade card. So that's one example of what we can do. Let me make another, let's have a look. So let's go into these, it's very exciting. I love it when we get new stuff. I love it when we get new tools. I love it when we have things that we can play with, that we can alter our crafting with because it gives us alternatives. And this is absolutely no exception to that. Let's go eight by eight. Let's go stonking. Let's go huge. Um, I think everyone is having a little bit of trouble still. Um, are still we are they're still looking at we're still waiting for confirmation so my advice hang fire as soon as we know that it's all working it's all going smoothly then we'll tell because they'll tell Taz because she sits there and she's got a phone so they'll tell her and we'll tell you and then go 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 but at the minute enjoy the demonstrations while you've got them and then you can come back and you will have it all ready. And the great thing about this is the actual washi tape uh, download, you will be able to download today, uh, which is exciting. Um, so this isn't an eight by eight actually, I think it's a nine or an eight and a half by nine. It's ever so slightly rectangular, it's not quite square. 350 GSM, please do remember your 350 GSM is super, super awesome for doing these, uh, the, the, especially the bigger cards because you need that stronger piece. What I've done here is taken a just half an inch smaller, in fact I think it might be a quarter inch smaller and I've just put the three diamond dots down there. So nothing excessive, just something to give it that tone and I'm working white on white. So I'm not bringing in any colored backing papers on this. Now for those of you that are new to Carnation and sort of certainly I suppose new to my style of crafting which is I know we all craft differently but one piece of advice that I can give you and it is useful to know if you're working on white on white white will eat itself so if you put a piece of white paper onto a piece of white paper the white paper that you put on top will just disappear into the white paper that's below it's just obviously the nature of the beast if you use a good thick foam tape underneath what you do is create a shadow and it allows you to visually see that separation in point of your two whites and white on white can be a really, really effective, beautiful background for a card. Really pretty. Um, it's not for the everyday, it's not for the always, but when we do use it, man alive, can it bring things to life. So it's just using that, that thicker foam tape that just allows the shadow to come through. So if I pull these back, so I've got those tabs, and then I can just place this visually. I haven't got my glasses on, I've left them downstairs, which isn't helping my cause at all. Am I about there, Taz? Um, Hold on, I think I'm stuck yeah, anyway. Right, so I'm gonna place and pull. 
So I've got that separation point now. Because of the shadow play, you can see the white lifted. If I just placed it flat on top, it would literally disappear because it's just the nature of the beast. You don't get that separation. They're two different colored whites, but you can see what I mean. You don't get that impact. So what I've done here is taken this strip of the washi. Isn't it pretty? Now, unfortunately for you guys, it's actually the same one that I was using a minute ago. That's just unfortunately the nature of which order my demonstrations were in on my desk next to me. Next to me, But I don't wanna use the full space. I still want to make use of that white. I still want to own that white and love that white, but I need to just give a little bit of point of difference with the color. I just need to say something quickly. Yeah. So if everybody can ignore the code. Ignore the code. The prices should now reflect and use the extra 10% discount. So they should be able so to just put in into, if you So if you just go to 230134, it should just come up. Don't worry about the code. It should just come up at the right price, 35.95 with your 2.95 postage and packing. That should be ready for you now on the website. That's 230134. That is that bundle. Uh, so that number is the one to go for. That's going to give you your glass cutting mat. It's going to give you your uh, your washi tape, your your download for your tapes, and then it's going to give you your adhesive pro print paper, which is 120 GSM. So that's all on the website now. Two three zero one three four. Go 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 go, pussy cats go. So what I'm going to do with this strip is just place it onto the side. I'm just going to measure just out there. See how high I need to go. and place it just in that corner. There we go. Now, because I've placed that down, I've just pulled that strip back at the back. So that means I can now smooth it out as I go and allow it to just sit, okay? Slightly on the wonk, but we won't worry about it because I can't lean over. You guys can when you're at home. So obviously you're going to spend that time. Now, one of the things that I want to do on this demonstration is cool that tone. There's a lot of color there and I love the color, but I need to cool it because otherwise it's going to overpower everything else that I put on the card. And there's a really beautiful way of doing that. And one of my favorite ever pieces, I can't remember what it's called, but it is one of my favorite ever pieces. Look at that. Oh, good Lord, the prettiness. Really sweet really beautiful. I love those backgrounds so much. And it just cools that tone. It still allows the color pop. I can still see my florals. There's something very, very pretty about that. So I'm just going to take this, pop a little bit of wet glue. Obviously, you might want to put on a little bit more than I'm doing. This is just for demo's sake. Yes, Miss Tissas? I think it's the Lightwork Daisy background. Lightwork Daisy. Which collection is it from, Miss Taz? Can you remember? Is that boho? Is it boho? Yeah. Could it be? It is boho. Is it? <laughs> Look at me remembering the things. So I'm just going to smooth that down. I love that so much. Now, I don't want to do too much else because I love that. What I could do is place a sentiment here. I, do, I am going to visually put something else, but I think it's so pretty. So what I'm going to do is just going to... <laughs> Diane says, yay, got my order in. Well done, Diane. I'm still going to establish white space and I still want my white space to be sort of dominant in a way because that color is going to push it through. So what I've done is taken a much paler. How pretty is that? Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm going to use that and that's going to be my showstopper. Now it's still my showstopper, even though that color is more muted, it is still my showstopper because it's just going to sit centrally in that card. Look at that. That joy, that full bloom of that rose climbing with those colors. And because when I take this and I put that on top and because of the height of it and because of the, the differences in color, can you see how that suddenly starts to dominate the card? Whereas you would think it would be that that dominated because it's brighter, but we can still dominate with paler colors. So long as it's detailed enough and you've got the right height balance that goes through. So that's how I'm going to use that in this way. Now, if I've got pin flare, we'll use that. And if I haven't, we won't. Let's do it that way. Let me just see if this is still stuck, Miss Tiz Taz. Bah, yuck. Let's just use wet glue. We'll just use wet glue. We'll have pin flare later. Normal service will resume. Little bit on that top rose. 
and then we'll pull that down. I'm not going to go too far with the glue on this. I'm okay with my leaves sort of sitting proud and I'm just going to shape and pop just to the side. Now part of the reason why I'm happy with my leaves just sitting at the side, I don't want all of that white space because to me that's too much white space. Like it looks odd, I'm out of whack, I'm out of balance, but I don't wanna lose the white space either. So all I'm gonna do is just place a sentiment. And I've used that gorgeous little tag. Thank you for being my sunshine, done in that green uh, ink so that it matches in with my leaves and it matches in with the colors on the washi. And then I'm just gonna remove on the foam tape, I'm keeping this high, and I'm just going to establish a point at which I want it. Now I could, put it down there, but I, it, it's wrong. I'm going in steps when I do that. And it reminds me of a bowl cut on a hairdo. There's, there's something odd about the steps. I can put it up here, but I've got those diamonds and again, I'm wrong. So for me on an angle in that middle point, so I draw the eye down because my showstopper is the rose and that's where I want the eye to focus. So in order to keep that where it is, all I need to do just on an angle, just at the side and just place. All done. The power of washi tape, because that's our starting point. That gives us that balance. It gives us the way that we step off. You know, it's the, it's the diving board into the rest of it. And something simple like that, which will just call those tones to allow your big piece to be your centerpiece. Paired back, simple, beautiful, really easy. The joy of, the joy of using washi tape is just extraordinary you know there's something really beautiful about it and we get to do all kinds of things with it what time are we on miss taz have i got time one i have demo. Eh? One more demo. let's change it up let's change it up so should we go with daisies i'm going to do you a really quick i haven't got any wrapping paper and i wanted to show you how to wrap something and use a little bit of, uh, of washi tape and how it comes together i didn't want all of the demos to be cards because washi tape can be used in so many different ways let me just get rid of that because it'll just hit now i don't have any washi t uh, any uh, wrapping paper like i say i am completely out i did look for it if i was doing this at home i would do it with craft paper i wouldn't do it with vellum but it is vellum that i'm going to use so just a really quick example of how you can do something really beautiful really quick and really easy so i've got a square of vellum and we'll pretend this is my present okay so a small little book and we'll pretend that's my gift on that square of vellum that you can just see here so i've got it measuring out at about 13 inches but obviously it would depend what size your present is so where you've got that sitting in the order to uh, get it roughly right you're going to put it roughly in the center of the paper and you're going to make sure that that comes up roughly to just over your center point okay so that needs to come to the top that's going to come to roughly your center point all i'm going to do here is just crease that at the bottom so I know it's going to sit where it sits and I'm just going to weight it down a little bit just sort of there I'll leave this bit free okay from here what I'm going to do is lift this piece just tuck that into sort of an aeroplane wing and pull okay and then same again at that side so I've got those two pieces that are at the same roughly equidistant there they're the same you know at the same place then on this side Chuck it straight in as well. Same thing that you just did on the other side. Now, obviously I'm using vellum and it doesn't play as nicely as a craft paper or a wrapping paper would. Yours will at home. If you're doing it in a vellum, just make sure you're lifting. Otherwise it will crease horribly. Right, place in that. So I've got that folded. I need that to fold in. So I'm tucking it. Can you see how I'm pushing against that bottom piece? Placing it down. Same again at this side, okay? So we're just getting, so you've got this piece that goes across the top, all right? What I'm gonna do is where that's, that ends, take this one, fold just across that center point, okay? Same again. Yours will be neater, obviously. You'll take more time than I can here. Push it across so I've got that fold sitting at the bottom. Then I'm gonna take my second one, just push it through, so I've got my second fold going through. So I've got my third. 
so I've created like a plait, okay? And I can put a little bit of tape down there. I wouldn't necessarily normally, so I'll just place it there, okay? Normally I would hold it, but because I'm doing it on demo, it's guaranteed to fall out, so we're just going to be very, very careful with it. Now, what I'm gonna do here is just tuck in those top pieces, fold that down as such, push it in, and I would neaten up those edges just along there, tuck so it's tidy, pop your tape on, super quick and easy, nice way to decorate something that looks slightly different to a normal present. Now obviously you wouldn't see through it because you would do it in your normal dark tape. But the joy of that is, once we've learned how to establish those envelopes, we will be able to tuck everything just inside that present on the front, you'd use a smaller card. Now, if you want to decorate those up, you can either take your time between folding to put a line of washi tape along each one of those and it looks beautiful. Or you can just do one long strip across here, which is what I'll do now. So it allows us to have that beautiful span going across the present. Now, obviously you're gonna probably be doing this in something like a craft paper. So you'll have that gorgeous brown background, that muted brown background. So anything that you put on top of it is going to pop. It will just pop and it'll look stunning. Little tag on there, made with the washi tapes as well. So it all comes together, pretty as a picture. I just didn't happen to have any and I did think it was a nice little demo to do something slightly different and something quick too, right? Uh, because it's a nice way of wrapping a present that's just ever so slightly different. Uh, and actually it's easier than wrapping a present normally, in my opinion. Right, let me get hold of that. And then, because I'm not going to put my card in because I'm just going to use my washi, I'm just going to leave a little gap just down Look at that. Oh, Miss Tista, stop shouting at me. I'm just going to leave that. Look at the prettiness of how that comes through. Now imagine that on craft paper. Imagine how gorgeous it's gonna look. And all I'm gonna do is just tuck it round, make sure that sellotape is still holding. Your sellotape will hold better, obviously, on craft paper than it's going to on vellum. Took that round. Now that side's fine, but this side I've got an overhang. So all I would do in that is just either pull it round. I don't really like it going over the bottom. I gotta tell you, it's not my favorite. Now I am more likely to snip it right there on that piece where it's just on that edge, just to neaten it up. But if you're using a longer piece, you can always, of course, wrap it more than once around your gift. But I just love it as a little special, isn't that just pretty? Little something tucked inside, you have got the most gorgeous presents wrapped. And that's again the power of washi tape. It's so simple and it's such an easy trick. Washi tape is always gonna be an easy trick and that's why I love it so much. Like I say, I have decorated jars with mine, I've decorated boxes, I've decorated a washing machine, I've done parts of walls with washi tape, so many things. So to have this where we've got that download that we can use again and again and again and we can print our own and we can print as much as we want, that's so powerful. You'll find it on the Carnation Crafts website. I'm hoping they have sorted their gremlins. We will see uh, and uh, they will let us know. That is on number 230134. Uh, you get the glass cutting mat. You're going to get your own washi tape and you're going to get your own pro print adhesive strips. Now, just a mention on the adhesive strips because we're focusing very much today on the tapes, but the point being is that we also get those adhesive sheets to do other things with, and that's important too, because anything that you've got at home that's a download that you can print on that you want to stick somewhere is now yours for the taking. You can die cut with it, you could use it in your scan and cut, there's loads of different places that you can use it. So suddenly the world becomes your oyster, but it's got the intense printing power of our normal pro print. So you're getting something really, really special. It is 120 because it's gonna create a sticker. You wouldn't use it on a mirrored vignette um, because, of, well, you could, I suppose, but it would be, you know, I just wouldn't waste it on that. 
but you can create so many things and obviously just for your normal card toppers to have the stickers is really useful right to have little bags of them especially if you're going somewhere like a craft fair where you can just take things off and look so we're just going to have a look at some samples so we'll look at the ones that i have done we'll also look at janine's just so you can see some different work coming through so all things going in all different ways so look at these beautiful isn't it gorgeous and the difference is like this where you're just spanning it over into those corners just to create really pretty using different shapes apertures and then those on top i will say just very quickly and i will go through this in the next show because we're back in an hour when you're doing it on things like this and you're using the pieces of ephemera you're better off taking off your sheet and sticking it to uh, something like a 350 gsm and then die cut in on that 350 and it'll give you really strong pieces of ephemera which is really useful your more muted tones pretty really gorgeous those brighter stronger colors but they all still go together really simple little triangular cut and it's done it's that that's such a quick card beautiful colors gorgeous right and that is washi tape and that is the power of a washi tape because because you're in control because you create your own backgrounds because you create your own home decor pieces because you can create everything that you want to create in your own way if there's a certain swedish shop that sells things that you need to build yourself and one of the things that they sell are candles in glass jars if you like little things they cost i think it's 99p and if you soak the label off it and then use a little bit of wd-40 uh, and just use a piece of kitchen roll to get the sticky off and then just put a piece of that washi tape around the bottom of it it creates the prettiest candle really easy really simple and it's suddenly a 99 pence candle looks very expensive really really easy um cannot wait to play you're gonna have so much fun so much fun with it because it's just really it's different it's, isn't it nice to play with something different it's just really really awesome so that main bundle 230134 that includes your glass cutting mat an a3 tempered glass cutting mat and that has got all of your measurements on and your card measurements as well going forward so you can build and measure we'll be using that later on when i tell you how to make an envelope for any size card so you'll have that information going forward the price for this today is 35.99 and you've got a 2 pound 95 uk p and p that will include your glass cutting mat your adhesive pro print paper and your download for your washi tape as well that will be your washi tape download will be on the carnation crafts website the other two will come to you as a physical product uh, and obviously the minute you place your orders carnation crafts will obviously uh pick pack and post and i will say i think i would be somebody just put this will be great at christmas i've got a feeling alison that this won't be the last we see of new washi designs i think it's something that going ahead they may add to as we go through so we will always have good washi tapes to go with the collections that are coming out i don't think it'll be for every collection but certainly going forward i think they will add to our collection so that's exciting are you okay miss taz you look like you want to say something i genuinely can't remember if you have said it or not but you do get 40 sheets of the adhesive so two packs yeah so two packs of adhesive not just one two so that's exciting no i haven't said that i didn't know you got two i thought you got one so you get two packs two packs so this is you're getting two packs of your adhesive that's really cheap mr tis but like everything everything i thought you just got one i'd be totally right you get two two lots of protein so that's those two and then you get another one which is that's 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 and that is only 35.99 which i think is cool kid because the glass mat's worth that on its own the glass mat is worth that on its own so you're actually getting those two and that for free but that's only till midnight tonight after that you're done um so 
2.95 PMP, 230134 on the Carnation Crafts website, which is www.carnationcrafts.co.uk. You need to be looking for your, uh, it's, do you know what? It's, I'm, normally I would say to you, type it in if it's easier, just, just use the number because if you, I don't want to be typing in glass cutting mat and print your own washi tape starter kit. Just type in the number 230134, it's easier. Nobody's got time for that stuff. I will see you in an hour and we'll do those envelopes and we'll do kind of make a couple more cards. We'll have a look at this in even more detail. And until then, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.